men in the neighborhoods, we got to do something to make a change in our community so that our kids have a safe environment to grow up in, right? Right, right. I read. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. So God is asking who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers? Who's the evildoers out here in Chicago? The gangbangers? The drug dealers? So God is saying, who's going to rise up against this? Give me the book of John chapter 8, verse 32. Because a lot of things have been going on in the news, right? So we're going to show you those things according to the Bible. Read. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Read it again. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the Most High God is saying that ye, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What is this truth that we're speaking about? Hey, brother, like I just asked you, you said you know you're an Israelite. You got a friend that uh, practice this... Uh, this way of living because it's not a religion it's a way of life it's our nationality right. we have to come out here and teach our people who they are according to the bible you're not black you're not african-american you're not hispanic you are an israelite read it again and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free kanye west has been doing a lot of stuff in the news right saying that uh, about the 12 tribes of Israel, uh, Kyrie Irving talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, the Israelites, and that we are the true Jews. And the, and the matter of the fact, they're telling the truth. Why are these people mad about that? Why are these people mad about that and they want to ruin these, these brothers' lives, our brothers' lives? Give me that in Deuteronomy. Why do they want to ruin their lives because they're telling them that we, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are the real Jews? That's right. We have to go back to the beginning of the book in order to understand our history and how we became, how we came to be under these curses. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are all Israel. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Alright, so, let, read that again. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. So this Bible was written over 3,000 years ago. But right here, Moses is saying it shall come to pass. Meaning that it's going to happen in the future. Right now it's the future. Right now the Bible is talking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Right. If thou wilt not hearken. If thou, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you will not hearken. Hearken means to listen. Hearken means to obey. Hearken means to take heed to what's coming out. Come on. Out. Unto the out. voice of the Lord thy God. The voice of the Lord our God is this Bible. So he says to listen to this Bible. Read this Bible and follow the things therein. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Not pick and choose the ones you are comfortable with. Not just the Big Ten that a lot of uh, Christianity like to teach. But what? All his commandments. To do all his commandments. Come on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, hey, bro. Over there in that red coat at the bus stop. Is a curse a good thing? Yeah, you, bro. Is a curse a good thing? A curse is a bad thing, right? Read that part again. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
So all these curses are going to come upon you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and overtake you. It's a, cur a curse is a very bad thing. When you look into the, uh, into the uh, streets of Chicago, right now, the Chicago is the murder capital, right? Read. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So cursed are we here in Chicago, right? There's a lot of crime going on in, this, in Chicago. A lot of murder, drug selling, prostitution. All that is a curse in the city. You could go throughout any city throughout America where uh, the so-called blacks and Hispanics be, and you're going to see us at the bottom of society. That's a curse. Read that part again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So we cursed here in the city of Chicago, just like we cursed in the city of Atlanta, cursed in the city of Detroit, cursed in the city of St. Louis. We are cursed in the city because we refuse to hearken unto the words of this Bible. Come on. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And you know we was cursed in the field if anybody know anything about history. Back in the time of slavery, we was cursed in the cotton fields. We was cursed in the sugarcane fields. We was cursed in the uh, tobacco fields. We was cursed in the rice fields. We was cursed in all these fields. Read that again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the fields. How we cursed in the city? To, how we cursed in the uh, in the uh, field today? In the job field, because we are uh, first fired and last hired. They hire us. They look. They know us by our names, because our people love making up strange names. So when they see that on the application, they already throw it in the garbage. Bring it out. So Kanye West is telling the news people, right? that you so-called blacks are the real Jews. How much truth is to that, bro? Hey, bro, did you know you was a Jew? Did you know that? You smoking a cigarette. Did you know you was a Jew? You knew that? How long you been knowing that? See, a lot of our people know that they the Israelites. But when are we gonna do something? When are we gonna start doing what the Bible say do? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, when are we going to start doing what the Bible do, bro, and change our community? When are we going to do that? You and the, uh, and, uh, the uh, Pittsburgh hat. Hey, y'all, come here, bro. Come here. Let me ask you a quick question. Say what? Ain't got time right now. Hey, bro, you right there. You standing right there. I know that. All right, check this out. I just don't want to All right, check this out, right? We're going to see what God said. All right, want you to listen to this, because... Us, us as being the elder men of the neighborhoods, we got to do something to make a change in our community so that our kids have a safe environment to grow up in, right? Right, right. I right. read. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Read that again. Unless the Lord... From the top. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So God is asking, who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers? Who's the evildoers out here in Chicago? The gangbangers? The drug dealers? So God is saying, who's going to rise up against this? There's other evildoers too. The people that's killing us in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the people that's put Planned Parenthood in our neighborhood. Yeah. Those are evildoers. Read it again from the top. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So God said, who's going to rise up? It starts with us. It starts with us to rise up against all the evil that we that we see, and we start changing it. We change it one person at a time, but we start with ourselves. That's Come right. on. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? The workers of iniquity is all the sin that's going on in our streets. All the uh, single parent ho households that's going on in our streets. All the diseases that's going on in our streets for fornication and uh, unmarried sex. All these things are workers of iniquity. And we have to stand up to change these things in our community in order for us to raise up. You know what I'm saying? Like all the uh, uh, workers of iniquity. Iniquity is sin. The church tell you that sin is done away with. But I'm going to show you what sin is real quick. Because uh, in order for us to know what we have to change, we have to know what it is first, right? All right, read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. 
So sin is breaking God's laws. Now there's more laws than just the Ten Commandments in this book, right? There's a dress code, there's a how we supposed to eat. All these things are God's laws that we supposed to keep. But we're not taught these things. We're taught to live, you only live one life. Live it how you want. That's how we talk. That's how the society teaches us. And it's all wrong. Read it, read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. So we come out here to stand up against these things. We come out here to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. That they have to come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We come out here to change our communities. So black people, we don't know who our God is. We worship a white man, right? In all these churches, we worship a white man. We don't know who our God is. If I ask you where you're from, you're going to tell me you're from Africa. But Africa is a continent filled with many countries. What country are you from, my brother? Where your ancestors from? Because you said you said you're African American, right? So if you say you're African American, which is named after a white man, Africa is, um, you you're relating yourself to Africa. So what country in Africa? Because Africa is a continent. That's that's why we out here, bro. That title African American was put on us in 1980s, and we just accepted it. Before that, we was colored. Before that, we was Negroes. Before that, we was black. Before that, we was Afro-Americans. We, we, our, our title has been changed so many different times that we don't even consider. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 